Coming up on a very special edition of Aztec Football with Rocky Long, the president shares her exclusive insights on the university's vision for Mission Valley. That allows us to use the stadium for everybody. Get the students' perspective on SDSU's vision for Mission Valley. Crazy to think about it now from our perspective and the fact that there's no taxpayer dollars, there's no student tuition being used. Get an in-depth breakdown of SDSU's vision from the athletic director. So we'll do a full environmental impact review, which will include looking at the traffic impacts in Mission Valley. And find out how the strength and conditioning program has impacted players outside of football. With what he's put us through, will help us for the rest of our life. And find out what plays we've selected as the best of the month. All that and more is next on the latest edition of Aztec Football with Rocky Long. This past weekend, the Red and Black defeated Eastern Michigan 23-20 in overtime. Ryan Agnew threw for 176 yards and two touchdowns, but it came down to number 29's foot. John Barron II nailed a 50-yard field goal to tie the game in the fourth quarter. Then, after a big interception by redshirt freshman Darren Hall, John Barron out on the field for the 38-yard game winner. And with the victory, the Aztecs close out their non-conference schedule with a 3-1 record. Welcome to Aztec Football with Rocky Long, a very special presentation tonight. It is an absolute honor. Rich Ornberger here alongside President of San Diego State University, Adela De La Torre. I'm very excited to have you here, and I won't take all of your time here, but I do need to take some of your time. I have to ask you first and foremost about your vision for San Diego State. Well, I think we're really at this important, pivotal time of the university. We have an opportunity to expand our campus with the Mission Valley Plan and provide opportunities for almost 20,000 students. I mean, last year we had 94,000 applicants for a position at San Diego State. So when you think about how many people in the region and how many people in the country want to come to San Diego State, it really speaks a lot about this important university. So that combined with the fact that we are an economic engine for the region, makes a transformation for us in the future a critical point for me as president of the university. You just launched the I Am SDSU campaign, and I love the scarves, by the way. I, I'd like one. Okay. Um, but aside from that, what can you tell us about the campaign? Well, the I Am SDSU campaign is really to remind people that Aztecs are everywhere. And they come in all shapes and colors, some may be CEOs of companies, some individuals may be in the military, other folks may be working in theater and art. We have so many people across every profession in San Diego and beyond that we wanted people to remember how important this institution is for the community as well as for the nation. It's election season again and there is a competing ballot. Um, stadium site development is really the, the key figure in this whole debate. I know the university is a public entity and it cannot campaign for any ballot in particular, but I'd love to clear up some claims if that's okay with you. Yes. Uh, first of all, it's important to understand the SDSU initiative is not the same as a Mission Valley site plan. What I'm engaged in is discussing the future of the university through the Mission Valley site plan, which is probably a once in a lifetime transformative event for this campus. It's similar to what happened at UC San Diego in the 1960s when they first received you know, their land from the federal government. And so this is going to allow us to bring the stadium, bring the innovation center, bring the housing, and bring the park to the community and create the kind of economic engine of growth that we so badly need for this region and for the country. There's been a lot of talk about this topic. In the simplest terms, help me with this. What is SDSU Mission Valley? SDSU Mission Valley is really the plan to grow the university so that we can provide the types of opportunities not only for our students but our faculty and create a vision for this community that allows us to use the stadium for everybody and that includes not only for sports, football, soccer, but also for conferences, um, for conventions and for educational purposes as well. 
It also provides an opportunity for us to really think thoughtfully about how we're going to develop this new park plan. And it really is going to create a long-term impact for the next 120 years for our community where education will be critical to the success of the future workforce of San Diego. Yeah, education begets everything and, and campus expansion is, is a key to this, this whole site plan, right? Absolutely. If we don't expand, we will be limited in by growth because of the small footprint we have right now in San Diego. If you think of what UC San Diego was able to do in the 1960s when they received that land, they transformed UC San Diego. We plan to transform San Diego State with this, this same opportunity and it's going to be benefit every single citizen and every student who dreams of coming to San Diego State. I know that San Diego State is a public entity, and I know you're not allowed to talk about this, but I am. I'm, I'm a public citizen, and Soccer City is the opposition on this ballot, and they've been making certain claims about SDSU at Mission Valley, and I'd love to get some clarity if you're comfortable with that. So right off the bat, uh, student fees and tuition, they say that they're going to be raised. Absolutely not. Student fees will not increase under our plan. In fact, student fees have to go through a referendum process that the students initiate. So that factually is not correct. You know, the second claim I'd love clarity on is this idea that via the site plan, you're not obligated to build a stadium. Absolutely, we're going to build the stadium. In fact, we plan day one to begin this process of construction. It's a critical entry point for our students and we plan to use it 365 days a year. So it will be available for football, soccer, conferences. It will be a site for concerts. We'll also be have activities in which faculty can use it in, in flex space for classes. So it's something that we really are committed to and will work on right away. Another is tax hikes, uh, increasing taxes on the citizens. Any truth there? Not at all. There'll be absolutely no new taxes with this project. The last one that I want to bring up, Soccer City says that SDSU is being duped by friends of San Diego State. Again, this is a false claim. What we actually are planning on is on our future. We must have more land in order to grow and provide the opportunities for our students in our community. And indeed, many people want to see us grow. So this is the only acceptable plan that will allow us to grow in a way that can meet the demands of our community and the society at large. Still to come, find out how SDSU's strength and conditioning program will benefit the players even after they graduate. With what he's put us through, it will help us for the rest of our life. Plus, get exclusive insights from the athletic director on the opportunities ahead at Mission Valley. I think it's important to recognize that it's a community statement. Aztec Football with Rocky Long is presented by Kaiser Permanente. Thrive. Wearing number 33, Parker Baldwin is a safety from Siloam Springs, Arkansas. Entering his senior season on the Mesa, Baldwin has played in all 41 games since he first arrived on campus in 2015. I'm so proud to, to wear the San Diego State and represent the Aztecs and especially how far we've come. I mean, well, I got here and, and we hadn't won that championship in a couple years. And then we came in here right away, won a championship, uh, won another championship. <laughs> You know, it just makes me proud to see how far the program's come. I want to see the program continue to just get better and better, and I want to come back 10 years down the road and hopefully see us in a new stadium and, uh, you know, hopefully uh, playing against more Pac-12 schools, maybe in a different conference. So, uh, you know, it'd be great. You're watching Aztec Football with Rocky Long. I'm Rich Hornberger. The head coach has established a winning culture on the Mesa, instilling a foundation of toughness and the confidence to take on anyone in the country. For the past nine seasons, the strength and conditioning regimen has been led by former Aztec quarterback Adam Hall. Hall's ability to relate to the players while maintaining honest feedback and an unwavering commitment to breaking down mental barriers has made him an important part of the football program and a favorite among the players. Coach Hall, that's, uh, that's my, probably one of my favorite coaches, but uh, I feel like from, you know, from my first time here to now, he's just really, he's got my mental stronger. That's what he preaches a lot is just mental toughness and everything. Mental toughness, mindset, and being able to overcome adversity for sure. 
because you know growing up you always think that you're working hard but once you get to coach hall you realize there's boundaries that you thought you couldn't cross that you are actually able to and i've definitely learned that from him just getting the mental stronger because if you don't have a strong mind then you don't feel like, feel like you can't do anything and i've actually witnessed that during our workouts and our runs my mom would be like oh i'm tired and i'll just be like i can do it i'm not going to die you know mental toughness yeah coach hall he's it's a good one. It doesn't take much time for Hall's weight program to transform players' bodies, and they make significant gains even from year one to two. I came in about 210, 215. Coach Hall told me to eat, you know, eat as much as I can, eat ranch and ketchup with every single meal, you know. <laughs> I would eat in and out burger about four times a week. And his weight program, the way he pushes you and and teaches you to work and with your mental side of it. You know, it pushes you through so much more than you think you can, you can go through and it got me to where I am now, which is about 250, 255 pounds in just a year or two. Strength and conviction are important cornerstones to any team, but Hall's leadership is to get players to take advantage of every opportunity in the weight room and not to treat anything as an obligation. My work ethic, and my attitude coming into the gym and what I'm getting out of it. Just knowing that you know you, that you can't take this workout for granted and you, you're going in there to get better and not just you know going in there and, and telling yourself that you know I'm gonna get through this, but rather telling yourself to get that you're gonna get better, you know, with each rep that he tells you to do. And you know, he's taught me you know, not to skip reps, you know, the, you know, with with that in mind, it's really helped me in the long run and you know I thank him for where I am today. Think about how am I going to be after this is done. I feel like he molds us and shapes us pretty well. You know, he teaches the right thing. He's never, he never lied to me. He's always told me the truth. He's always kept it real, even if it's bad. So, yeah. Coach Hall, yeah, he's with what he's put us through. Will help us for the rest of our life, more than anything. Coming up, Athletic Director John David Wicker gives us a deeper dive into the opportunities available in Mission Valley. I think it's important to recognize that it's a community stadium. And still to come, find out what plays we've selected as the best of the month. And be sure to enjoy all of the great Aztec events coming up here on The Mason. In November 2017, San Diego State University unveiled SDSU Mission Valley, a detailed vision and a plan for the land, including an immediately surrounding SDCCU stadium. The plan does not rely on taxpayer dollars, and the university is able to purchase the land at fair market value and finance construction should it have the opportunity to do so. SDSU's vision includes a world-class university research and innovation campus, a river park, a multi-use stadium for Aztec football and professional soccer, and it would all be accomplished working closely with the city and a transparent process under the guidelines established by an elaborate environmental impact report. And now for more details on the school's vision for Mission Valley, I sat down with Athletic Director J.D. Wicker. Let's dive into the specifics here. Uh, you have this river park. What's really going to be available for the citizens of San Diego? We're excited about the river park and, and all that it's going to offer the citizens of San Diego. It addresses a, a key flooding hydrology issue that we have on the site, but it's also going to provide park space for not only the people that live and work at the future SDSU Mission Valley, but it also is key for Mission Valley as a whole. It's really under parked as it is, so this allows all the folks that live in San Diego to come in, engage with the river. The whole site as we've designed, it's gonna be over 50% parks, paseos, as you look at not just the river park, but the future campus and, and other areas around the stadium as well. When you have space like that and you have football to be played, there, there's a stadium that needs to be there. And so multi-use, explain exactly what you mean by that joint use stadium. Well, I, I think it's important to recognize that it's a community 
stadium. We're building it for the community of San Diego because we know that this is, you know, no one's really going to come out, come back in and probably build another stadium anytime soon. And we want to address the full needs of the community. So it's built for Aztec football, certainly seven, eight times a year. But then we want domestic soccer leagues. We want international soccer. We want concerts, dirt shows. I think I said it earlier, you, you name it and we'll host it. So a lot of events that can come to the stadium, it can be used 365 days a year. There'll be a hotel conference center across the street. There'll be bars and restaurants adjacent to it as well. So it'll be a great place to come, not only on a game day, but for some of the other smaller events that you'll have there. And there's been a rallying cry around SDSU at Mission Valley. It's got to feel very good as the athletic director of this school to see how many people are supporting this vision. Yeah, it, it's great. It, it's been good to see that a lot of groups in town have come out in favor of San Diego State University having the opportunity to purchase the property at fair market value from the city. And we're excited about what we can in turn do for the city. We're already a $5.67 billion economic impact generator to the city. So imagine if we're able to go down into Mission Valley and expand the institution, build out mixed use retail and residential, what that economic impact will look like then, the tax revenue that'll go to the city, the opportunities for people to come down and interact in the river park. So we're really excited about the things we can do for San Diego. Coming up, get the student's perspective on SDSU's vision for Mission Valley. Crazy to think about it now from our perspective and the fact that there's no taxpayer dollars, there's no student tuition being used. And still to come, find out what plays we've selected as the best of the month. Aztecs beat Arizona State for the second consecutive year. Aztec football with Rocky Long is presented by Kaiser Permanente. Thrive. When we look at the Mission Valley site and the potential to expand our campus and SDSU as a whole, it really is an exciting time, not only from the campus perspective, but also when we look at athletics and the ability to have an on-campus on stadium. The opportunity to even see this plan and develop over 15 years, it's, it's crazy to think about it now from our perspective and the fact that there's no taxpayer dollars, there's no student tuition being used. I think that was the main concern for students, but the fact that there's, that's not being implicated, students are really excited because it's an opportunity, again, that degree value is going to go off the charts as soon as this builds out. And, but really, when I think about the most exciting piece is the fact that we can build the community here at San Diego. It really develops past just, I guess, the game experience, the student experience, but really San Diego as a whole, that city feel, it really creates an opportunity for San Diego to come to one place and to really engage as a community and really to come together behind San Diego State University. That's done so much for San Diego and the San Diego region when we look at our alumni base is over 200,000 in San Diego. It's insane to me that that's even a thing in one dense population. So being able to really expand San Diego State, it's, it's an awesome opportunity. And given the chance, we'd love to do that. Sitting alongside J.D. Wicker, Athletic Director at San Diego State University and the vision at Mission Valley, November is a very important month. Why say yes to this plan? Understanding what all SDSU means to the community of San Diego. 60% of our living alumni are here in San Diego, which is somewhere in the neighborhood of 200,000 people. So if you're going to a meeting or you're going somewhere where there's any group of people, there's gar almost guaranteed that there's one, if not more, San Diego graduates. As you look across the region at the leaders in business, the leaders in local government, there's San Diego graduates there. And, you know, we kicked off the IMSDSU campaign a couple weeks ago. We handed out 15,000 scarves at the game on Saturday. And as you look at those commercials, it's leaders in the community. It's Jerry Sanders. It's Ralph Rubio, who's feeding San Diego. There's researchers both in the, in the lab and down at the river, restoring the river, nurses. So we want to make sure the folks of San Diego do recognize how important San Diego State is to the community and all the things that we're going to be able to do if we have the opportunity to move into Mission Valley. So if Proposition G wins and the process begins, what happens first? Obviously, if we get the opportunity in November to purchase the property, we'll have to do the negotiation with the city council and the mayor's office. So they're all involved. And at the same time, we'll be going through our full CEQA process. So we'll do 
a full environmental impact review, which will include looking at the traffic impacts in Mission Valley. That will inform us how much money that we'll have to spend on traffic mitigation. We don't get to decide that number, the, empire, the environmental impact review does. And hopefully both of those take somewhere probably a little over a year, so in early 2020 we would be ready to put a shovel in the ground and start building a river park and a stadium. The hope is a stadium opens in 2022. We figure about 24 months, so should be ready to go with football in 2022. And then somewhere in that time frame, you're starting to build out the residential area and the campus area. So we'll have building on the site as soon as we can get it on there and start that process to get a campus built, residential built, stadium going, and a river park, which will be great for San Diego to get this going quickly. The Red and Black have won their last five home games and are 14 and three in their last 17 non-conference games. With a three and one record heading into the bye week, here are our picks for the best plays so far. Chapman throwing over the middle. That's caught. Getting free is Wilson. Tim Wilson up to the 25 yard line. Give it to him again. Why not? He breaks a couple of tackles. Washington gets chased down inside the 10 40 yard run by Jawan Washington.